Neighborhood Health Watch is sponsored by the doctors of HCA Virginia. Muscle injuries and strains can turn a person's life upside down and lead to serious damage if it's not addressed. Today in Neighborhood Health Watch, we're learning about rotator cuff injuries and treatment. Damage to muscles and tendons can occur from acute injuries like a fall or accident, and also from chronic overuse like throwing a ball or lifting. Dr. Marion Herring is joining us from Parham Doctors Hospital. Thanks a lot for joining us on Thank First at Four. Me. Talk about the rotator cuff and why it's important. Rotator cuff is a group of muscles and tendons that surround the shoulder, allows you to function from about chest high to about above overhead. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, it's, it's a common injury. You always hear people talking about their shoulder yes, pain. Um, how do you know when you have this particular injury and that you should actually see a doctor to get it diagnosed? Sure. Ro rotator cuff injury is probably one of the most common injuries I see in my practice. Mm -hmm. I would venture to say that most people have some kind of rotator cuff injury during their lifetime. Those people have pain with function. They have pain at night and they're really not able to do lifting overhead or shoulder like they want to. So when it begins to actually affect and change what you normally do uh, as a routine in your day, then you should seek medical attention. Yes, ma'am. Or it affects your sleep at night. That's the most common complaint we see. And what about treatment? What are the treatment options? Treatment. The most common thing we see is inflammation of the bursa, which sits on top of the rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. And the rotator cuff tendon gets inflamed. If it's just inflammation there, we can treat the inflammation, get the shoulder strong again. Most time that works without having to have any kind of surgical intervention. And talk about arthroscopic repair and recovery. Right, so most of the time rotator cuff tears, either if they happen from injury or over a long period of, a period of time, can fix through the arthroscope. Mm -hmm. This is a very small incision. We can work using a camera to fix the rotator cuff back down to bone but there's a misperception that the healing time is less. Mm -hmm. Healing time is the same, it's just much more, it's much less of an incision. Is it more successful? It's a, no. no, arthroscopic repair has the same success rate as open repair that we're seeing. It's, just, right. it's just much less of an incision. All right, very good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you appreciate for having it. Me. Thank you.